I just finished cutting out the pattern pieces for this Vogue 1835 and I want to make this top here view B. This is the line art. So B is really view A with sleeves. And there are only three pattern pieces. So you have the front, the back, and the sleeves. I was looking at the cutout diagram and this is single thickness. I did not want to have a seam down the front or the back of my top. So I did purchase extra fabric. I purchased this cable knit fabric from Joanne Fabrics and my plan is to just fold the fabric in half and then place the pattern pieces on the fold and then that way I won't have to have any seams down the front or the back. And I bought enough fabric to make something else although I don't know what it will be. So I would. will figure out something else that I can make to go with this top. The neckline is going to be finished with a narrow hem. I have already pinned together the shoulder on this side and now I'm just going to pin the shoulder together on this side. And then after I have these shoulders all pinned and sewn, then I will go ahead and put the tape around the neck edge. And once I peel the tape away, I will fold the fabric over one time and then stitch everything down. If this was a woven, I would fold the fabric over twice. But because it's a knit, I can get away with just folding it over one time and then just stitching everything. To do the narrow hem this time, I'm using a quarter inch wide steam -a seam light. It is a fusible tape and it looks like this. So what I will do is just take this and fuse it, iron it down to the edge of the hemline and then press on top of this, let it cool off and then you're able to peel the paper away and then you'll be able to fold the edge in and then stitch it down. This is my finished neckline with the steam -a seam light. I've been using my serger for a lot of these seams and I just finished putting on the sleeves and now I am going to sew the sleeves together and the side seam in one long stitch. So I'll start at the wrist and go all the way around to the bottom and then after that I just need to hem it and then it'll be all done. Okay, so the top is all done and I ended up buying two and a half yards of this knit fabric and it ended up being just enough to make a skirt to go with the top. So I've decided that I am going to use McCall 7991 and I'm only going to use the skirt portion and this is the length that I am going for, something similar. I'd rather have the shorter length than the longer length and this piece is used for the front and also for the back and I'm going to do the same thing and just cut this out on the fold. It's not on the fold now but I will fix it, put this on the fold and cut it out and then I'll have a skirt to go with that top. This is all the fabric that I still have left over after cutting out the skirt. Now with the skirt I just sewed the side seams together and then I'm going to finish it with this piece of elastic. This is three quarters of an inch wide elastic and I measured my waist plus an inch and then I overlapped the ends and then just zigzagged over the ends and then now I am going to line this up to the edge of the skirt and I'm going to sew around it and I will stretch it just a little bit as I'm sewing it on and then once it's sewn on, I will fold it over and then sew on the edge. This elastic will be covered up. And then I'll sew the edge and then I'll hem the skirt. And then this will be done and I will have an outfit. So what I decided to do was baste the elastic on first and then try the skirt on. And I'm glad I did it because the skirt was just a little bit too loose. So I ended up overlapping 
this end here a little bit more so I had to undo the stitches and just bring it in a little bit more and then I basted the elastic back onto the skirt and then after I basted it on I went around with my serger and I didn't cut any of the ends I just surged around the edge just to kind of neaten everything up now what I will do is just take this edge and fold it to the inside and then I will stitch around the bottom of this seam right here and that will have the skirt looking like this when it's all done and the elastic will be on the inside. So when you are attaching the elastic to the skirt, you want to attach it to the wrong side of the skirt. That way when you fold it in, the inside will be finished the right way.